Hello SpaceX fans, we're back with another video for you to give our viewers the latest updates. So buckle right in because we're going on a flight to the stars. But before we move on, make sure to press the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we'll discuss the revelation of a new SpaceX spacesuit on Instagram by Mr. Elon Musk because he further added some information that we'll be sharing with you. For the first time since the space shuttle era a decade ago, American astronauts are expected to fly to space on board the SpaceX spacecraft, marking the first commercial crew flight for NASA and the first time astronauts will launch from American soil in nearly a decade. Longtime space watchers will notice one thing different about the spiffy spacesuits that Crew 1 astronauts Bob Bemkin and Doug Hurley will wear. They are not the orange pumpkin flight suits astronauts used to wear during the launch phase of shuttle flights managed by NASA. NASA astronauts Bob Bemkin and Doug Hurley wearing SpaceX spacesuits, walk through the crew axis arm connecting the launch tower to the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft during a dress rehearsal at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida on January 17th, 2020. The SpaceX spacesuits are a cool, one-piece white design and much sleeker than the bulky space shuttle launch suits, which were also known as the Advanced Crew Escape Suit, ACES. So slim was the new SpaceX spacesuit design that in 2018, the company's founder, Elon Musk, had to reassure concerned Instagram followers after the reveal. It definitely works. You can just jump in a vacuum chamber with it, and it's fine. The astronauts flying on the first crewed test flight of SpaceX's Crew Dragon have also commented on differences with the SpaceX suit, compared to other spacesuits astronauts have used in different years. This, SpaceX, suit is significantly different than the suit we wore on shuttle. Hurley, a veteran of space shuttle flight STS-129, and STS-135 said during a pre-flight press conference May 1st, without going into much detail. He alluded to some differences to the Sokol suit the Russians used for spaceflight, but added he never actually went through the entire suit-up process, since the Sokol was used as a backup if something went wrong during his brief mission to the International Space Station, ISS. But even though the SpaceX suit is newer, it will go through the same pre-flight checks as the Pumpkin suit and the Sokol suit. It's similar in that they check the suits for leaks, they check the comm systems, and they just want to make sure everything is good to go before you head out on the pad, Hurley said. Elon Musk has revealed the SpaceX spacesuit to the world. The company's CEO shared the image on Wednesday, which will serve as the official outfit for future missions. The company has big plans to start its first manned mission in collaboration with NASA as soon as 2018, with a human mission to Mars at some point in the mid-2020s. First picture of SpaceX spacesuit, Musk said in an Instagram post. More in days to follow. Worth noting that this actually works, not a mock-up. Already tested to double vacuum pressure. Was incredibly hard to balance aesthetics and function. Easy to do either separately. If everything goes to plan, SpaceX will test an uncrewed mission in February 2018, followed by a manned mission in June 2018 as part of NASA's commercial crew program. This would make it the world's first private company to send humans into space. It faces stiff competition from Boeing, though, which is planning an August 2018 date for its first manned mission. The suits have undergone rigorous testing, as Musk revealed on Sunday on Twitter. Pics of SpaceX spacesuit developed for NASA commercial crew program coming out next week, undergoing ocean landing mobility safety tests. Subsequently, two of these SpaceX spacesuits proved their worth in space before being used by humans. One flew with a Tesla driving dummy that launched on a Falcon Heavy rocket in 2018, and another was used on the dummy Ripley that flew aboard the uncrewed SpaceX Crew Dragon Demo-1 test flight to the ISS in 2019. If it looks like the spacesuit is built for a movie set, that could be because the suit designer is legendary Hollywood costume designer Jose Fernandez, who is known for costumes in blockbusters such as Wonder Woman, Wolverine, Batman vs Superman, and Captain America Civil War. What we're doing on the SpaceX side is kind of reach back and kind of pull forward, maybe. A retro styling or a different way of creating their own unique kind of mission symbol or symbology, rather than trying to copy what was done on the space shuttle side. Bemkin added that the pumpkin suit was an iconic part of space shuttle launches, and he expects the same will happen soon for the SpaceX spacesuit. Both of the suits have succeeded, I think, in terms of becoming iconic, in terms of symbolizing the mission in front of us, and the excitement associated with what we're going to accomplish. On the training side, Bemkin said in a separate pre-flight video interview May 2nd, the SpaceX spacesuit has at least one big advantage, a high enough fidelity from a training perspective that we can, 
both Doug and I, can sit in a capsule, we can put on suits, and we can go through a situation or scenario where the suits are going to inflate. Elon Musk offered SpaceX's services to help NASA make its next-generation spacesuits after a watchdog report on Tuesday said the agency's current program is behind schedule and will cost more than $1 billion. SpaceX could do it if need be, Musk wrote in a tweet. Musk's company has developed and made flight suits for astronauts who launch into orbit in SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft. The flight suits are primarily designed to protect the astronauts in case of fire inside of the spacecraft or if the cabin depressurizes. Building spacesuits would be a more complex and challenging endeavor given the need to survive outside of a spacecraft in the harsh environment of space. NASA spokesperson Monica Witt, in a statement to CNBC on Musk's offer, pointed the agency's request last month to companies in the space industry for feedback on purchasing commercial spacesuits, hardware, and services. Musk's proposal came in response to a report by NASA's Inspector General, which is the investigative office which audits the agency for fraud and mismanagement on the work being done to develop a new line of extravehicular mobility units, which are informally called spacesuits. Astronauts on board the International Space Station used spacesuits designed 45 years ago for the space shuttle program, the report noted. The IG also highlighted that those spacesuits have been refurbished and partially redesigned over the past decades to continue working. The space agency has started three different spacesuit programs since 2007, the inspector general found, and has spent $420.1 million on development since then. Additionally, the report said NASA plans to invest approximately $625.2 million more on development, testing, and qualification to complete a suit for a demonstration on the ISS and two suits for the crewed missions to the moon for a total cost of over $1 billion through 2025. Designing a spacesuit is no easy task. Earlier this year, a damning report revealed that despite spending $200 million in developing a spacesuit, NASA is years away from having one ready for deep space travel. The agency's original pile of 18 suits has run down to 11, and there's a chance it could run out by 2024. There's a tricky balance between designing a suit for protection and comfort, which is made all the more harder when designing for the extravehicular mobility units, that allow astronauts to leave the space station to carry out repairs. While NASA's Z2 suit concept design looks fantastic, they remain out of action. SpaceX suits are designed for use within the Dragon 2 capsules that will start transporting astronauts in 2018. These fully autonomous spacecraft are designed to carry seven astronauts to the International Space Station and back. Let's see what updates will come next by Mr. Elon Musk on this good looking suit. With that, we wrap up today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you again with more updates.